Recently, I've had this sort of obsession with getting new playing cards. I've got these. Look at the design on the box. Isn't that just unreal? This is part of Theory 11's playing cards. I don't know why I like them so much. But even the back design on every card just looks actually insane, as well as the front designs on each card as well. Let me know if you want to see some playing card videos, such as me designing them. I, I would love to design a deck of cards. Today's video isn't about cards though, it is about resources, things that you need. And there's literally one resource that changed the game for me. So I thought instead of just making a video about one resource that changed the game for me, I would tell you a few of them as well. So a few of the most used resources that I know that I think you should have. Some of them are free, some of them aren't. So do what you want, get what you want. Number one is MindNode. MindNode is this brainstorming app that you can get on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. I've been using MindNode for a few years now just to allow me to brainstorm. It makes making those mind maps so much easier. But not only that, when I'm doing client work, as you see in my Skillshare class, I use it to show my client my thought process. It's a really visual way and an easy way of getting the client to understand the connections that you've made. Within the Skillshare class that I did, you can see that I'm working on a project called Origin and it's this app for space and I had to design the logo. So I went into my node and started finding all the words and the connections to space and satellites and planets, stars, nebulas. I found all of the connections and that really helped me hone in on a few key concepts for the logo design. Not only that, you can actually export them and bring them into your client presentation, which makes it so much easier for the client to really follow what you're thinking. It's like them getting directly into your mind. The second one is pretty obvious, but it's Unsplash. If you've never heard of Unsplash, then who are you? Fun little fact, one of my images on Unsplash went huge. I don't know why, it's just an image of a bench that I took in this nature park. Unsplash is a place where you can get free images freely to use in any project. All the creators put their work on there for anyone to use and for anyone to download, put in their publications using graphic design. And there are thousands, if not millions of images on there free for you to just download and play with. Anytime you see me using an image, like a portrait, something in nature, it's most likely from Unsplash. The next one, number three, is the Noun Project. You may have heard this. It's a huge website that designers use. Apparently, it is the most comprehensive icon collection in the world. You can download icons and give attribution, so you can give credit towards the person who designed it or the noun project, or you can have a planned price and you can get a certain amount like you're seeing on the screen. In a world where we travel and people from the sides of the world may not know each other's language, it's super important to be able to speak the same language by icons. We use icons to do that. Something funny about icons is during the whole thing that we had, that the whole world was locked down, what we saw was a lot of icons being made for keeping your hands away from your face, washing your hands and social distancing. You didn't need to know the language to understand the icon. It's universal and people can understand everything about it. Icons are huge, as you designers know. So getting into a website where there are millions of icons that you can download is huge for you and your client project and it will save you time. Now the one that really changed my life forever, which will change yours too, is the logo package. Now the logo package is essentially what it says it is. However, it allows you to create multiple versions of a logo. It allows you to save them like a client would need. For example, if I had this Assets 4D logo and I needed it to be in a PDF, JPEG, PNG, SVG. I needed a black version of all of those file types. I needed a gray version of all those file types. I'll need a colored version of all those file types. And maybe I'll have like a slogan underneath. Well, what the logo package allows you to do is when you press the buttons, which is only like three buttons really, it will save all of those for you directly within Illustrator, saving you, for me, roughly two hours by just pressing one button. That is absolutely life-changing. Again, you can follow the links down below to find any of these that you want to try out or look at, but I would seriously suggest to check out the logo package. It will serve you well. The next one that I think will change your world even is the sponsor of this video, Milanote. Now, 
I have chosen Millinote to be the sponsor of this video because it makes so much sense. Me and Jim and the team use Millinote all the time for our projects here. If you don't know what it is, it's like this whiteboarding software that you can use online. And it's great for collaborating within teams towards your clients. It's great for whiteboarding ideas, making a plan, brainstorming, anything that you use a whiteboard for, Millinote will do it better and easier. And you know that graphic design is a super messy process at the start. It's important to have some sort of organization. Now, Millinote has hundreds of templates that you can use and download straight away. You just have to press it and get rid of all the clutter that's inside. And you have the template there, or you can simply make your own if you have your own workflow. Something that we love to use Millinote for is mood boarding. It's really intuitive the way that we can just add images to it and invite a client in and maybe make some notes, maybe annotate, put some links, maybe some downloads on there. It's a really cool place to have a flexible hub for all your design work. So whether you want to create a style guide, mood board, or just organize all of those messy design projects, go and check out Millinote in the description below. It's completely free if you want to try it out with premium versions available if you so wish. Honestly, you won't be disappointed. It will change the game. Next one is for any of you web design nerds, geniuses, people who love to develop websites or just love the look of crazy good websites. Hipster.net, or should I say HTTP, is an inspiration resource showing totally rocking websites made by people from all over the world. And you bet I just read on the website what it was. If you are looking for inspiration for a website, this is a great place to go and find some edgy designs. Not really corporate, but really clean, minimal design that you would like that Scandinavian type of feel. It's free, it's a resource, and you guys will love it if you do web design. For the next one, I've talked about this quite a bit over the past few weeks. In fact, we were sponsored by them a while back. They are called Vectory, and I really like the software. Don't know what Vectory is? It's 3D design software made for 2D artists. It's all browser-based as well, which makes it super fun, easy and intuitive for you to learn how to use it. It's not like going into other 3D softwares and not knowing what you're doing. It's actually really cool the way that you're able to just put in a SVG logo and then make a really cool 3D logo scene out of it. It's amazing. I've got videos about that that I'll put in the description below if you want to learn a bit more about Vectory. But because it's free, you might as well go and check it out. It's amazing for any sort of 3D work that you want to do. You won't believe it, but we've got more. Coolers. Have you ever heard of coolers before? I love coolers. It's an amazing website where you can find the best color combinations, whether that's through themes, from people that people have made, or you can make your own and you can download them a lot easier. They have an Illustrator plugin, so you can just save them to your profile and they will appear straight in Illustrator with swatches. It's actually incredible. So much time saving. Really quickly, the last one before I go, and just before you press that red subscribe button and comment how good the video is, Adobe Fonts. Loads of you guys, have Adobe Illustrator and maybe the whole Adobe suite and you use it for client work. Maybe you just use it for fun if you're just learning. But something that a lot of people miss is the amount of amazing premium fonts that Adobe has that you can just literally press a button and get. Adobe Fonts has thousands of fonts that you can use, really professional. I use them quite often in my work, even as just as a placeholder or as a place of inspiration. And even finding the perfect font is a lot easier than you would imagine. You can actually select from certain attributes that a font has, such as whether it's bold, italic, whether it's fat or thin, gothic script, slab, serif, sans serif, anything you think of, it's in there. Those are the resources. Some of them have changed my life. Some of them are just really good to have and I really wanted to share them with you. But if you did enjoy this video, thanks for watching. I'm Will Patterson. I'm a graphic designer based in the UK. We're in a design agency where we specialize in brand identity and we make these videos to make you a better designer in every single video. So if you do like what you see, press that red subscribe button. There's more videos on the channel, so go ahead, watch the Reddit series, maybe binge on that, you might enjoy it. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon, goodbye.